There's certain tools that are necessary for maintaining your yard or garden, and today we're going to learn which tools you should choose and what you don't really need. And we're doing it with Master Gardener Ed Sordiff. Ed, thanks for joining us. Let's start with the big tools. Okay, well, there's some essential tools you really need in a garden. Um, you don't have to have like every tool out there, but some essential ones are, are basically a round shovel like this. It's, it has a nice pointy end. It will break through the soil easily and um, you can scoop a lot of things. So this is essential if you're going to really be doing real gardening, like in, in the soil, not just containers. Not a little, yeah, not little gardening. If you're going to do any big gardening, you need one of these. Yes. Um, probably the next thing, and this is very valuable, this is a fork, a, a spading fork. This is excellent in the garden. You remember we brought two of these on before. Yeah. Yeah, to split things. Yeah, huge perennial. All the roots were all um, intertwined together. And we used this and we were actually able to split it apart. Really it's also easily. good. I used to use it for bark mulch. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it has many uses. So this is actually one of my favorite ones, especially in New England where you have really rocky soil. These little tines will just go past the rocks, get right in there and pull the, the soil up. Yeah, because sometimes if you're using the shovel, it, you end up hitting rocks and yeah. it just doesn't feel good. It's not as easy. Now, why do you have a few different types of shovels? Is, do we need multiple ones? Because these are expensive. Yeah, no, you don't really need multiple shovels. Um, you use them for different things. Like I'm a tall person, mm -hmm. so I would probably use this shovel that you have. And actually, let's switch out. And this is a shorter shovel. So the short shovel. person gets the short shovel. Yeah, because of your back. Understandable. I mean, oh, thanks for being considerate. I, <laughs> if I use this shovel, I'd be bending over, uh, twisting my back. But That's with true. a long handle, this works better for me. I just stick it in there, and I can just turn the soil. So really, it's about your size. Um, tall people really should go for the long-handled shovels. And you were telling me earlier, because these things, they are expensive if you buy them new. But going to yard sales and garage sales is really a great place to get these. Oh, yeah. You don't just have to go out and get the, the brand new shiny ones. Some of the older things that you'll find at tag sales are actually better because um, they were just made with a better quality. You don't want to go out and buy something that's really cheap because it will fall apart. I still use tools that my grandmother had and yeah. that's you know they're over 60 years old. And they come with a story too. Yeah. Now a rake is the next thing that we need. Yes that is a garden rake and I'm just going to put this down over here. So a good old fashioned garden rake. Yeah and this is excellent too for smoothing out the soil. This will get rid of the weeds. You can dethatch your lawn. So this is one of my top um, three ones uh, tools also. Really like that. And now what about this hoe over here? Yeah we have two different hoes. This is a, a regular everyday hoe. This is actually you know for, for making furrows in the garden or chopping up weeds. It's just your traditional hoe. But a hoe for weeding that I like even better than this mm -hmm. is the stirrup hoe right here. I say I'd never seen this before. Yeah, and they actually call it a stirrup because you can see right here, it actually looks like a stirrup when you were riding a horse. You That's put true. your foot into it. Huh. Yeah, and all this does is you would actually put it in the soil and go back and forth like that, and it will slice off the plants from the roots right there, and you'll get rid of all your weeds really easily. So this really, you can go your rows really easily in the garden. This is a really great tool to have. Now, Ed, let's start talking about hand tools. Yes, hand tools are important uh, because you have to get around the plants, you have to plant the plants. So your other um, thing you would definitely get would be a trowel. These are two types of trowels here. Um, they actually have measurements on here. So if you're planting bulbs in the fall. That is such a good idea. Yeah, you can see how deep the, the bulbs should go in. Now people do this with a trowel, which is all right, but the real way to use a trowel is to take it, stab it in the ground, and then pull out and dig, because then you're using that. all that force. It's really an easier way to use your trowel. Sure, you're making the tool work for you. Yeah, and now this one is actually an ergonomic one. So tools today are becoming more ergonomic. Instead of just having uh, straight handles, they bend them so they work better with your wrist. There's that and a cultivator, and this is the, um, the old versions of that. So whatever works for you, whatever you find more comfortable. Now a cultivator, is that more for like tilling soil? Yeah, that's for going around the plants, also aerating the soil, getting rid of the little weeds, and this is a great little thing to have in the garden too. Now a great thing about these new um, hand tools here is you can see how brightly colored these um, handles you, you are. You never lose them. That's right and you usually always end up losing these so a good thing to do and actually I have one on the well I had another trowel right here. I lost this for about three years that's why it's in bad <laughs> shape. It's a really expensive tool too and it, it actually has um, it, it's really well constructed so this will never come out which is one of the reasons you want a little bit more expensive but I lost that for three years. I was gardening. I turned around. I had the the weeds. I was pushing them around. Then it just got in a little bit of soil and then I couldn't see it anymore. So, so that's why you get the bright colors. Yeah, now. that's why that would really work. Or what you can do, you can take something like paint or oh, if you want to hold this. Yeah. yeah. 
and then you could just put something like electrician's tape around it That's and you get a nice idea. color going there. Now Ed, we're running a little bit low on yep. time but there's a few more small tools that we need and I know you have a serrated knife right here. Yeah this is actually a, a root knife and that's great for if you're going in the garden and you have a lot of tree roots and you're trying to put in uh, ferns or something you can just dig right through those roots if you're in a rooty area. Um, also gloves are important for protection and then we have that over here. There's the regular cloth gloves that just help you um, uh, prevent yeah. blisters. Mm -hmm. Then there's this type here we have the rubber bottom with grips. Oh, it seems like thorns can't get through that a bit. Well, they can get through, uh, but um, it'll help you out. And this is actually more of a fall model where this is a little bit thicker. But the thing that people don't really realize, if you want to try these on, I would love to. these are surgical gloves. And these are indispensable in the garden. You just put these on, you keep a couple in your pocket. They're as uh, light as a, a napkin. And you just, anytime you're going around, you can just, um, before on your way to work, you see something, you want to get in there, you can just uh, work the soil even Say with without, it. without getting your, your uh, dirt under your nails. Yeah, no dirt under your nails and uh, no poison ivy either. So I have a lot of poison ivy at home. Sometimes I can just go out and pluck it out and then just pull it inside out like that and then you won't even get poison ivy It'll on be you. Be safe and sound. Well, yeah. thank you so much for showing us all these tools. I know there's more to get to. There's uh, th this, which I love to carry plants around. Yeah, it's just a toboggan, but it's also used to, to, to weed and stuff. I found that this year, it's a good thing. I think it's a real, and it's nice too, because instead of taking six trips to and from the car, you can just pull one toboggan. Yeah, with and it works really well. Well, Ed, thanks so much for stopping by. And if you want to view these tips and more, just visit us online, mymassappeal.com later today.